What is up, Nalter Gang? Welcome back to the party. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up the D21 Pokeball tins on the hunt for some Cosmic Eclipse packs and big hits out of my second favorite set of all time, other than Neo Destiny. But I love Cosmic Eclipse, and I have a master set binder that I am actively working on filling, and I'm getting closer and closer every single day. So I've got a bunch of these Pokeball tins that are known to have Cosmic Eclipse in them, so that hopefully I can get at least another part of my binder filled by the time this video is over. But don't go anywhere because anything that I pull today that I already have, I'm going to be giving to one of you. Doesn't matter if I pull anything out of the other packs in these tins or otherwise. I am only on the hunt for Cosmic Eclipse, so all you have to do to be eligible to win must be 18 plus, gotta live in the US, and then just like this video and leave a comment below of who your favorite Pokemon is. And I will pick a winner a week from today of when this video goes live to take all of those duplicates, which maybe there's gonna be some bangers. We'll find out. All right, everybody. Let's ball. All right, so I've got all the Pokeballs open and unfortunately not every one of the balls had Cosmic Eclipse in it. So I don't know why that is. All of them were D21 balls. A bunch of them actually had two Rebel Clash and one Vivid Voltage in them. So that's a little bit of a bummer because the Cosmic Packs were obviously the chase here, but it is what it is. We still were able to get, I believe, six Cosmic Eclipse Packs. So still got a good chance of pulling some heat out of those. And that just means that all these other packs, we got Vivid Voltage, a bunch of packs here, and then we've got a bunch of Rebel Clash. But again, somebody that fulfills the requirements I mentioned earlier and leaves a comment down below is going to take home all of the cards in these Rebel Clash and Vivid Voltage packs, as well as any of the duplicates in the Cosmic Eclipse packs that I open, which we will save for last. So with no further ado, let's get started. Let's start with our Rebel Clash. which a lot of people are not a huge fan of Rebel Clash because there isn't a ton of hits. It is, uh, I would say, unfairly called Rebel Trash because I do like a lot of the cards that are actually in this set. I like the arts of them. There isn't a Charizard or some of the other bigger hits, but hey, there's a Malamar V, and uh, there's plenty of other cool cards that deserve their own respect. Even if they're not gonna be the most valuable cards, maybe you'll find in the recent Pokemon sets, so. Obviously, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so there is something out there for everybody. Got a first hit in our first pack. Love to see that. Gonna come fly through some of these. Hey, a Cinderace V. Two packs, two hits. See if we can go three for three. Coffin, Impidimp, more Pico. On the little hamster wheel, I haven't seen that before. That's what I'm saying, this set has some amazing arts. I love that. And, ooh, wait, an upside down. Whoa, let's go, a Dragapult V, upside down. I don't know why, that was kind of weird. I guess I should show the code cards here. Code card for the people. But Dragapult V, very nice. Another instance of this set having some really cool arts. Dragapult V, and I think I uh, see some sparkle sparkle here for those that watch my streams, you know, when we see a little peaky peaky, we like to tease it so people know that's when you should start paying attention, but first, you're trash. Natu, Snover, Skowovit, NDD, and dum -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. let's go Dragapult V full art. That is my first time ever pulling this card. I do not open a ton of Rebel Clash. Um, but like I said, I do love this set as a whole. Um, I definitely think it's underrated uh, for what it is. So especially the colors on this just look so good. And here we go, we got Dragapult V. This is going home with somebody that leaves that comment. So uh, if you haven't already, you now know that you're at least taking home this. And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of more heat in the rest of the pack considering how many we've got left. So far, these Rebel Clash packs have actually been treating us extremely well from these Pokeball tins. So. Hopefully, I, uh, they're not mad at me for disrespecting them when I said that I was disappointed we didn't get more Cosmic. Oops, excuse me. Got sticky fingers. Phalanx V! Another V! Oh my gosh. It's crazy how many non- like, we've had hits in almost every single pack, but no just standard hollows yet. Code card. Magmar. Electabuzz. Skowovit. <laughs> Snover. Pondering footsteps. Nah, two. Hatena. And there we go. Clefable under the moon. Absolutely beautiful hollow. I, uh, I, I don't know if I've even seen that. The set, I'd, I'd probably open maybe two booster boxes worth of it, like in its entirety. 
So I definitely have not seen every single card in person. So big fan of uh, these just regular hollows. Code card. Got some more sparkle sparkle here. These Re Rebel Clash are, uh, are loaded right now. Seismitoad, very nice. That's a reverse hollow rare. And it looks like we might have another full art here. We do! No, Bolton full art, the goodest boy around. Wow, that is a gorgeous card. I think uh, anybody that watches this, Rebel Clash stocks are going up right now in real time as this video has been uploaded. Just based off of seeing these cards. So, very nice. I am, uh, I'm very happy with these pulls so far. These packs have kind of been juiced. But no, uh, no VMAXs yet. Maybe we can change that. Code card. Fuck me. Yelp. Caterpie, Corsola, Dreepy, and Inteleon V with the finger cannons. Okay, Toby Maguire. We see you out here. Let's go. Man, how many? I don't even know how many packs we have, but we've got we've got a couple packs to go, and we've already pulled plenty of hits. I got a question for everybody. What is one modern Pokemon set that you believe is undervalued or underrated? I've said I believe Rebel Clash is definitely one that I would consider to be underrated. We got this Colossal Hollow, um, But there's plenty of others that maybe just haven't been shown the true love that they should. Just based on, you know, some people collect based on value, some people collect based on art, some people collect based on um, actually using the cards in play. And so there's all different sorts of values that you can bring into a set and not everybody values them the same. So some just don't sell as well as others. So what is your favorite set that you think deserves a little bit more love? It doesn't have to be Sword and Shield, could be Sun and Moon, XY, Black White, all the way back, doesn't matter. Just wanna hear your thoughts, let me know. And on that note, that is all of our Rebel Clash packs and we're gonna move on to Vivid Voltage. All right, Rainbow Chonkachu, where art thou? And or Beetle, the spaceship. Spaceship Beetle. It turns into a VMAX. It looks like a spaceship mushroom. We pulled that way too many times on our hunt for Rainbow Chakachu. But now that we finally pulled it, I can finally rest in uh, knowing that all the Beetles were worth it along the way. Hey, amazing rare Zassi, a nice hit, and a hollow Dust Noir. These amazing rares, first time they've ever appeared was in Vivid Voltage. Really hoping that they do more at some point. Uh, I'm assuming it would have to be sometime here in 2022 if we were to get more. Pretty soon Pokemon is going to be gearing up for the next generation. Um, I don't know exactly when that will be, but some people have speculated that we will get a new generation of Pokemon as early as the end of 2022. Um, if not, it would probably be pretty soon after since Sword and Shield stuff got started around 2019, I believe. So it's 2022 now, it's been about three years. So we're definitely in that window. So very interesting to see exactly what Pokemon does for the rest of the year. We know that we have at least Another set coming out in June, July, um, but we have no idea what's going to happen beyond that. The set that's coming out in June, July is Radiant something or other, and it's based on some of the Pokemon that are found in Legends of Arceus, which is super cool. And then I guess we do also have the Pokemon Go set that's coming out at some point this year. So I guess we'll uh, we'll see what happens after those. And there we go. We got Galarian, Dar, Manitan, VMAX. Our first VMAX, surprisingly, out of this many packs from Sword and Shield, but we'll take it. Come on here. here we go, code card. We got Free Willy, Weedle, Beldum, Fampy, Duskull, Shuppet, and Zarude V. Zarude, the rude dude, showing up as another V. Garbage, Shuppet, Choodle, before I forget. Code card. Riolu, Eevee, hey, amazing rare Raikou. Beautiful card. And Aegis slash VMAX Excalibur. VMAX to be exact. Very nice, no Chonkachu this time. But we know that uh, it takes a while to get it to come out of its little cave. But when it does, it's 
glorious. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Cosmic Eclipse packs. Six of them to be exact. And let's see if we can pull uh, some cards that I need. And if I, we don't, then uh, you guys all benefit. So, good luck to us both. We'll do a full pack trick for these since we've just got a few of them. Code card. I'm gonna go fire, fighting energy. Tangrel, Primplup, Anorith, Chinchow, Cosmog, Pancham, Drillbur, Tangela, and Lily's Pokedoll Reverse Hollow, and Black Kyurem. I don't know if I have that or not. I'll have to go back and check exactly which one is a duplicate, but I don't remember if I have that one or not, but really nice looking hollow. Number two. Code card. Electric Energy. Hopefully that's a good sign for us to pull that Reds Pikachu card that uh, I really, really want and don't have yet. Love this Flareon running through the city. Jangmo's on a mountain. Deerlings in a field. Golets in a valley. Dewbiter's in a spider web. Apom's in some fruit trees. And Spiel is in a ice cavern. And Lantern is in the ocean. I don't know why I felt the need to geographically tell you where all those were, but sometimes it's how things go. And I think we may have some sparkle sparkle here, folks. So uh, put your seatbelts on. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Fighting Energy. The Bellaba and Bryson Man. I love these tag team cards. Trainers and Pokemon. Would love to see tag team come back at some point for Pokemon. I just think it's a really cool concept. I'm sure they will bring it back, especially with a new generation of Pokemon that uh, hasn't seen uh, tag team cards yet. Wilmer. Oh, we got an amazing rare, and it's a Mimikyu! Mimikyu, not amazing rare, right? I meant character rare. Character rare Mimikyu. Absolutely love this card. Uh, one of the, the most beautiful uh, cards of the character rares from the set, in my opinion. I'm looking through my binder. I think I already have this one. Yes, I already do have this card. So this is going to be a part of the pile that is sent to uh, someone that leaves a comment. So, boom. But also, we've got Volcarona GX. Just a standard GX, but beautiful card. Let's get this in a top loader for you. And I did just check, and this is also a duplicate. So this is also a part of the giveaway pile. Nice. That's the downside of having a pretty, I'm not gonna say I'm close close, but I'm, I'm got a pretty good chunk of the master set done is that opening packs, you are gonna pull quite a few duplicates, which as long as you trade or, or whatnot, it's probably fine, but generally it just gets tougher and tougher, probably more financially wise to just buy singles, but you know what, what's the fun in that? Cosmog, Pancham, and Drillbur. Lana's Fishing Rod, gotta love a good fishing pole. And Solgaleo Hollow. That's a really nice card. Oh, and that is a duplicate as well. So congratulations, people. All right, we got two packs to go. Two packs to save the world. Potentially pull something that I can add to my binder. Other than maybe one of these reverse hollows. Go code card. I'm gonna go water energy on this one. A lot of, is it, have they all been fighting? I'm guessing fighting on the last one. Draw energy, unidentified fossil, Rapidash, Onyx, T-Pig, Sandshrew, Snorunt, Coughing, Reverse Hollow, Pulpitoad, no character rare, and Embor, with a really long paragraph for his explosive fire dance. But no hits there, nothing crazy, which means time for some last pack magic. Pat the mat for good luck, and I'm gonna guess Fighting Energy. Really need, the cards that I still really need from this set, I mean, a bunch of the rainbows, but the ones that I really want to pull, the red versus blue. I want the uh, the Pikachu character rare. I want the Professor's Oak. Um, Professor's Oak. Professor Oak. Uh, I'm guessing it's Professor's Research. I can't remember what the actual title of that card is, but really nice. And I'm gonna go in Fighting Energy. And it was not Fairy Energy, just not in the cards this time. But here we go, Herdier, Solgaleo, or gosh, I cannot read, Celio. Draw Energy, Tim Pole, Le Bebe, Alolan Sanchu, Ponyta, Sunkern, and the Tag Call. Nothing crazy. And Excadrill Hollow, which I believe is another duplicate. So, unfortunately, 
Don't think I made too much progress here, but that uh, my loss is your gain. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Those were all the packs that I had to open for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just to kind of go through our biggest hits, again, we've got the full Corona GX, the Mimikyu Character Rare, Raikou Amazing Rare, Age Slash VMAX, Charmanitan VMAX, Zacian Amazing Rare, and then the two full arts from Rebel Clash, probably two of my favorite hits of the day. Other than that Mimikyu, maybe, but um, probably just because I haven't pulled either of these cards before. So really nice looking cards, good contrast on both of those. So uh, those are all gonna be going home with one of you. I've said that a few times, just wanna reiterate it. So make sure you leave that comments and I'll pick somebody a week from today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And if you enjoyed this, why don't you check out one of the videos that we've got for you right here.